All right, let's have an introduction to uh, this app called Vibra Test Pro by MotionX for Vibration Analyzer um, system. So um, it works with the two channel, single channel, and also wireless uh, vibration setup that um, offered by MotionX. Uh, when you open the app in the main page, you see there are a couple of options vibration meter, spectrum, record, which is a recording raw data feature, torsional vibration, and measurement, which is a database at the end. You can save all the recordings here and, and see it later. Um, so let's quick over the first one, uh, vibration meter. Well, before going that, uh, going to that vibration meter, uh, you have to go to setting and, and the setting, sorry, the setting is the main page on the bottom left corner. You see the setting icon, tap on that one. And on the standard down there, you can select ISO standard or custom standard. If you use ISO standard, um, everything, the vibration meter is based on ISO standard. Otherwise, you can enter the threshold for uh, those region of um, red, yellow, green, and blue. Uh, if I select ISO, go back here, vibration meter, uh, you can select the group of the machine. Let's say group three. And then you can select foundation, rigid. It shows the um, the machine condition. The number now is jumping up and down because it's not connected to our um, uh, is not connected to our hardware. Uh, on the right side, you can select the unit, um, the bottom one, channel one or channel two. And the top um, text that you see here, it's uh, the the main one is uh, vibration velocity RMS, and the top one is also showing acceleration RMS. You can tap on the right top corner. Uh, it shows the definition of all those zones. And then also in the bottom uh, middle, you can tap and save, uh, sorry, and, and see the main um, uh, page, full screen of the same indicator. You can tap on the right uh, bottom one to save that one. Let's say, let's go back and um, let's say that's, uh, that's, uh, that's what I'm seeing here, right? And go here for example the number again it doesn't make sense now because it's not connected to sensor but let's say I want to save this one you can go to the database of the, the app which is structured as plant machine and then test point let's say you can create a test point or we can create any machine or plant let's say uh, point two it will be added you select that one you can add the image from the camera or from your library or add a note or you can talk and enter, it's actually it's a, a speech to text. Um, so save it. And if you go back to the main page from measurement, you can tap on the plant machine and measurement point. You see that number down here and RMS showing here, right? Um, let's go back again on the same page. Uh, on the left bottom corner, you can uh, email and export this page. Uh, it takes a screenshot and send it to your email or someone else's email. And again, if you go to back to setting and change that standard from ISO to custom, so you can go back and see that the whole thing is changed to one page simple that is based on your custom standard. All right, so that's the first feature. The second feature is spectrum and waveform page. Tap on that one. Once you come here, you see the spectrum. There are a lot of features here. Quickly, I'm going to go over some of them. From the bottom, um, from the uh, bottom um, icons, let's look at from the left, the close one, of course, then the next one, you can switch between time and frequency or FFT or spectrum. Um, you can easily, um, let's go to FFT, you can switch from acceleration to velocity, the next icon, right? Uh, the next one is, well, let's pause here, and then, well, there are some lines here, those are the sidebands or uh, um, we'll talk about that, but for now, let's look at the data. And now there is a the fourth one from left is the cursor. You can select the cursor to be um, selected as the top peak of the the um, the signal that you have. As you see, the cursor now shows the top peak, or you can tap again, and it's a free cursor that you can move it around, right, and see the vibration frequency and amplitude. And, or you can tap again and turn it off. Then the next one is RPM or Hertz, the unit change. Next one, play and pause. 
The next one, you can define the range of frequency in X or range of the amplitude and manually zoom to that section. Uh, the next one, which is an eye icon, um, it brings a, a, a box showing all the information and summary of the measurement for both channel 1 and 2 frequency and 1x frequency and top 5 peaks. Let's turn off this one. The next one is um, auto zoom. If I tap on that one, it's going to auto zoom the whole thing, right? Um, the next one is uh, 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 you can save this measurement to the database, the same structure that I showed you before. Select plant, machine, point, and add that one here. And if you go back again to the main page, you will see it's saved. On the top right corner, if you tap on that icon, it, make it, it makes it a uh, full screen. Um, the top Sorry, the bottom right corner, the setting, the setting is different than the main setting of the app. The setting is for Spectrum and the viewer here. The background, you can change some of this uh, line color for channel 1, channel 2, uh, line thickness, uh, the grid line for X and Y, you can turn off and on. The X axis can be linear or log, Y axis the same. You can have auto scaling for Y axis. Signal can be... The unit for a signal can be metric or imperial, hertz and RPM for the frequency. You can turn on channel 1, 2 or both of them at the same time. Uh, vibration can be shown in acceleration or velocity. And you can see the waveform and spectrum. These are similar to the icon that we have in the main page. The cursor, as you saw before, you can turn on the cursor as a auto peak manual, auto peak selector, manual or off. Right. The distance cursor, um, uh, you can define, once you turn on this one, it brings two cursors that you can manually move them around and see the distance between them in frequency and amplitude. Let's turn off this one. And harmonic cursor. Well, there are some other cursors on the graph. Let me turn off that one. Those are actually sidebands. Okay, the sideband, you can define sidebands on and off. If I turn it on, you can define the center frequency and then uh, how many sideband with what distance you want to have around that center frequency line. Let's turn off that one. And the top one here is harmonic. You can have harmonic of um, harmonic lines. So let's say I want to have like five of them for um, the, uh, either you can select the auto for the one X or manually enter that one. It shows all those and you can add more or remove them. And uh, those are the some of the settings that you have for this spectrum. Let's go back to main page and go back to main menu. And the record feature is if you tap on that one, you can send someone, let's say, to a plant, a machine, and just capture raw data and send it to, or save it in the iPad or send it to you for more analysis. You can record channel one, two, or both of them in different sampling rate. And either you can manually record for whatever time you want or select auto and let's say one second five second automatically stops after um, that um, that reading okay and once you're done you can save it or you can export it if you select export button it export as csv or wave form in an email um, directly to you or someone else let's go to main menu again um, these are the major features the main feature is and torsional vibration is something I'm not going to cover since we do not have um, the torsional vibration right now is connected and it's more advanced feature. We'll cover in other videos. The measurement, um, that's the main database of the app. Uh, you can define your plant, as I said, add the plant and machine. Let's say I add this, this, I want to add another machine. You can add another machine, machine two, and just it will show up right there. Um, and you add measurement point for each of this point, you will have different type of measurement. It will show all of them here. Let's say if you select it, um, if you select the one that you just recorded, like one second, remember, you tap on the graph, the bottom right corner, and it will bring up that offline mode that you can do all those analysis we're talking about so far, right? Um, you can have everything and just go through the data, analyze it, and see what's going on with that machine. Um, uh, I think that's it for now. Um, there are a couple of other things in this um, this app we're not going to cover. Of course, you can export the data that you have here from the bottom left corner icon. Uh, I'm not going to go through that. Um, that was a very short summary of the features that we have on this main 
app for vibration analysis. Um, we have a couple of other features coming up to be added to this app soon. And we have other apps, iVibrometer, iRollerBalancer for roller balancing that we'll cover in other videos. Thanks for watching.